We're gonna see what's new on a tour of Intersolar 2023. Frank, huge Solar Edge booth. I thought it couldn't be bigger, and it is. What are the free innovations here? So we have DC coupled commercial storage, we have the dynamic rate uh, support, yep. and we have the new generation of Solar Edge 1, the residential energy management system. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, Frank, what's new at the home? Uh, so what's new in the home right now is Solar Edge 1. So this year we're launching the Solar Edge 1 energy management solution. So what is new is that we are now opening up our ecosystem to integrate with third-party products. Dynamic Terrace, okay, it's also supported. Yes, also okay. supporting dynamic rates. Okay. And just by adding this little box. Yeah. This little box, what is this? It's just the backup interface. We've been selling backup in the US for a very long time. Yeah. And slowly this is migrating also to the European markets. It means if the grid, grid fails? Yeah, the main question I always got from people, if the grid fails, can I use my solar on the roof? And we always had to say, no, you cannot. Because you need to be a small island for you to use. Yeah, you energy. need to be disconnected from the grid, and that's what this box does. Correct. It disconnects the home, and now the home is a small island, and we can manage the home if the grid is down. Frank, the problem with the grid is that it's unstable because of these huge commercial projects. Uh, what's happening uh, for solutions? Yeah, there's, there's a few things that we have challenges with, which is the grid balance. They call it the FCR market, frequency containment reserve. Um, but what we're now launching is a commercial storage system, which is modular from 38 kilowatt hours up to 60, but we can scale it up to 460 with eight of these racks. Okay. So you can have 480, sorry, 460 kilowatt hours of energy storage, yep. which can be used for behind the meter or before the meter. So when we say behind the meter, we are focusing on the actual user of the system, like farmers, agriculture, um, supermarkets. So they can place these battery racks in their ecosystem with their PV system, so up with the 100 kilowatt inverters, and then we can start balancing the system. Frank, we want to know if uh, dynamic tariffs are supported and how. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges that customers now have, homeowners, is when the rates become dynamic, they change every hour. What do you, what do you see happening here is that you have the buy and the sell price, and they go up and down which is the challenge. What you see happening is that production is high, rates are low. When the consumption is high, rates are high, which is a challenge. So what do we do? We get the solar production, the actual production, and then we get the consumption, the actual consumption. And here you see that we predicted a peak of consumption and it didn't happen. So what we see happening is that we export to the grid on basis of high energy rates. Once we understand here that the consumption we predicted didn't happen, uh, we start depleting the battery because this model is fully based on dynamic energy optimization to lower the cost of energy for the homeowner. For now it's free of charge. You buy a system from SolarEdge, you get the entire management system with it. Thank you, Frank.